story we've been following all morning long. A two year old boy who went missing from his home in Detroit has been found. Now it took police hours to catch up with two year old Ariel Washington. His father realized he was gone when he woke up around 530 this morning. Police scoured neighborhoods near Melville and Yale streets in southwest Detroit to find that toddler. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shakehead is live in southwest Detroit to tell us where the boy was finally spotted. And Simon, most importantly, how is Ariel doing right now? We have confirmed, Keenan, that he is in good health. He was missing for about five hours, and then he was found right here in this area, lying under a pile of leaves. This video shows police taking Aries Washington away in a blanket just before they placed him in an ambulance to go get checked out at the hospital. That was at about 1030 this morning. Earlier, our colleagues, reporter Matt Smith and photographer Brian Schwartz, were out here at the corner of Yale and Melville, as we've mentioned, and police were kicking down a back door of a home. That was when they were still looking for the child. Now the child's father is currently being questioned by police and child abuse investigators. He will remain in custody. Police say the father claimed he fell asleep around 5.30 a.m. here, lying under an awning of a vacant home, and then woke up to find that his son was gone. Uh, luckily, just a short time ago, as you've seen, uh, officers, while checking a vacant lot near the original location, found the child. He had wandered away from his father, apparently, and uh, kind of burrowed himself into a pile of leaves and brush. Now, great work by Detroit police finding that child. The next step will be determining if criminal charges against the father will be filed. Reporting live in southwest Detroit, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. Back to you. All right, Simon, uh, with the father in custody, where will the boy go? Do we know where he's going to go once he's been fully checked out? We've been checking with Detroit police on that. They tell us that determination will be made by Child Protective Services. So at this point, they are still investigating, still making the determination. Whom exactly will that child go home with at this point? All right.